Hey guys, Sav here. Uh, new video series starting today. We're going to work our way backwards. Um, starting with the new map, uh, Better Frost Frontier. And we're going to call this uh, Map Completion Tips and Tricks. Um, basically, I'm just going to go over just a couple things from Map Completion. I'm not going to do everything because I just don't think it'll be that interesting. Uh, but we'll do, like, I'm basically just basing off of what I see people asking in Map Chat a lot. And kind of give you guys an idea of how to do it. Simple stuff. Should be quick videos. So let's get started. Today we're going to do uh, two things. We're going to do this Vista. Uh, the Dragon's Teeth Hot Springs Vista. And we're going to do, which I haven't even been over here yet, the Bitter Cold Point of Interest. Uh, first with the Vista. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm in the Dragon Dragon's Teeth Hot Springs. There's an event going on, so I'm standing kind of off to the side here. And we're gonna get this Vista. I found two ways to do it. There, one looks like it's the legitimate way to do it, and one and another way looks like just the way I kind of just figured out because it was I was it was the first time I did it and it worked. If it works for you, do it. If it but if you want to do it the legitimate way, I'll show you the legitimate way. Also, actually, I'll start with the, the legitimate way. So as you can see, I was over here when I started the video. I moved just over to here, just up the hill a little bit uh, from where I started the video from. And we're basically just going to go up this ridge here to start out. And we're going to go across these steps, I guess, if you will. So once we get around these steps, we get to this like waterfall or stream-looking thing here. If you continue up that way, you can get a. a some there's like an achievement, uh, there's a chest up there, one of the ice, ice chests or whatever that you can get for the achievement. Uh, there's also a dead quag over there for another achievement. Uh, but we actually want to go turn, basically make a U-turn here and go up these steps here. And across this very harrowing looking bridge. Collision on these is very forgiving, but it's still very possible to fall. Alright, made it. And we're going to continue across these steps here. Oh, I almost didn't make that jump. And as you see, we have made it to the thermal tube. And hop in the thermal tube. And we've arrived at the area of the Vista. Okay, yeah. yeah, it shot me way up, way up behind it. And now I just have to jump down to get the Vista. Now that, I believe, was the expected way to do it. However, I'm going to show you the way that I did it the first time. i just give you guys a little reference as to where I am. Uh, this is the Blister Cauldron uh, point of interest. Uh, if you do the story, it's where you go to actually make the elixir. Once you have all the items of the elixir, you come here and you cook the elixir in, um, in the uh, spring there. And there's a thermal tube right here. This thermal tube will actually shoot me straight up in the air to these uh, little magic points and these uh, and this uh, updraft. Now we're basically just going to take that and glide uh, to a ridge over here, run up a ridge, jump, glide, and you'll see. Basically I'm going to head right for the, the uh, south side of the map here. Lean glide. And right here, yes, just barely, and then jump and glide again. I don't think I can actually land here. Oh, I can. Okay, yeah. And this, this is where I run up. I run all the way up here. You actually see the vista from here. And we're gonna jump and glide again. And we're gonna land just underneath the vista. Now I actually can't get to the vista from here. 
I tried. You can try to walk up here, but it doesn't work. You just slide off. So what I'm going to do is jump into this thermal tube. And this thermal tube is actually going to overshoot me by quite a lot. And I'm going to stop mid mid flight here and just turn around and go back. And if you look where you're going, you can see that the vista is right below us. And there it is. So like I said, two ways to get the same thing. You pick the way that you think is easier. Uh, next we're going to go up to the bitter cold here and show you how to get this point of interest without doing the, without doing the uh, elixir. So as you can see, I took this uh, thermal tube right here and basically just glided towards it, which is not where I actually wanted to go. I wanted to veer off to the left here, but I ended up breaking out of the map. My bad. And I, there was an invisible wall I couldn't glide through. So, anyway, that's waypoint. Alright, so I'm up the hill a little bit more than I want to be, but I'm kind of avoiding some uh, enemies at the, at the moment here. Oh, nope. And I'm not okay. Anyway, so just to give you some reference, there's the waypoint. Uh, Sarge Equip Sanctuary is right here. We walk straight across. We're not, we're not going to this thermal tube, we're going to this thermal tube. And to get to this thermal tube, we, just, we have to walk up this hill. You can kind of see where we're going already, the steps inside the mountain there. Right. So before I get started, this is this is only for people who have not done the story. If you've done the story, you can make the elixir, make the elixir, walk into um, the bitter cold yourself, go in there, get what you need. There's there's other things in here like a mastery point. This actually takes us to the mastery point too, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of chests in here. There's a diving achievement in here. So you don't want to just do this... Um, and think, oh, map completion, that's it. You wanted to actually go in there and explore the bitter cold. But if you've done the bitter cold, explored it once or twice, and you have everything, all the achievements for being in there, you've done the battle in the story mode, all that, this is literally just to get the map completion and nothing else. Um, so I don't have the elixir, as you can see, because I have not done the story. So I can't make the elixir with this character. I could do, go do the story, and then I could make the elixir, but I don't want to do that. Um, so as you can see, I don't have the buff here. So we're going to come up to this thermal tube. Like I said, this thermal tube will take us to uh, this mastery point. However, I'm not going to have much time. So I'm not going to be able to get the mastery point right now. Uh, I already have it. So, so we jump in, it shoots us straight out. Now you start gliding in the middle. You can see I'm already getting the debuff. And you just drop down to the bottom of that volcano. And I got it. And I have about three seconds to live. Dead. Oh, I got a key. That's what makes it all worthwhile, guys. Let's open up the chest, see what we got. And nothing, nothing great. Transmutation charge, I if I die, which I'm going to be nickel die. Yeah, big deal. Nothing great out of this chest. But anyway, guys, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it helps you out in your attempts to 100% 100 map complete the uh, Bitter Frost Frontier.